In this video, I will show you how to make wireframe render in three ways using Blender. So like the video, buckle up, and let's go. Okay, let's go. I will work on this model, and you can go with whatever you have in your scene. The process works on anything. The normal way to show wireframe in Blender is by enabling it from the overlays. This works in all viewport modes and can be control with the percentage and the opacity in the wireframes option. You can also change the viewport shading through the lighting options and the wire color with many other available settings to customize your view. But all that is inside the viewport, so rendering it won't get you anything beside the image on the left without any wireframes. The first method to do wireframe is with the viewport render option. This one can be found in the view menu at the top bar and it will render the viewport as it is from your camera view with all the lines in it. Thus, you need to customize the overlays, maybe turn off some of the extra lines that you want to hide from the shot and hit Alt A to deselect all and get a clean wireframe render for the object you have. This method is cool for small previews or to place it in numbers inside a presentation or something like that, because it only renders with eight samples, so the quality is at low level, but it's fast. And not only for still shots, you can do fast animation renders with it, and with motion, eight samples can be manageable. So it is quite useful in many cases, just remember to assign a direction for the file input before you render the viewport animation with both video format and PNG sequence. The second method is the next level, so let us turn off the wireframe in the overlays, then in the render settings. Down at bottom, you will find the free style option. It's off by default, so turn it on, inside it two options, the mode and the pixels for the line thickness. Leave them be for now, because we need to add an override material, which is one material to paint all objects in the scene. So add one on any object you have without assigning it. Name it something you can recognize. Make the color white-ish toward gray. And in the layers setting, inside the override tab, assign the material we made. It will appear on render mode and final render. And since you enabled the freestyle render, a new tab should appear in the layers under the override won't be there if you turned off the freestyle render option, so make sure to check it. Then in the layers, under freestyle line set, go to edge type. There you will find three types, enabled by default. You need to turn them off. You can experiment with them later. What we need is the edge mark. With it enabled, we can select all the objects in the scene, then switch to edit mode. Make sure you're on edge selection by hitting the two key, the one over the W, and in the Edge menu, mark all as freestyle edges. You can also go back and change some of the options for the stroke or the line's color. I would recommend go with a small pixel value, because one is too much, so maybe something around 0.3 for the line thickness, and just render your stuff. The render will go first for the image, then it will add the freestyle at the end, so wait for it until it finishes. I did render this on low samples, so the quality is not top-notch, but that for you to top it with the image resolution and get the quality you need. The third method, which for me the easiest, goes like this. You need an override material, which we have here, then you add a crease pencil stroke from the Add menu and move it outside the camera view. With the stroke selected, go to Modifiers to add on it a Line Art modifier. The source type is what you need to add a wireframe to, whether it's an object or an entire collection. The character we have is off three parts, and they're all in one collection, so I will leave the type on default. Then select the collection I need. We will put the layer on colors and go with black since the override is white. And with the line art as a modifier, the wireframe will appear in the viewport, so you can play with it before you render. Thickness on one or two should be enough for small objects. The opacity is there too to customize your lines. The other options are just the same as the free style types, so enable the edge marks, then play with the rest to your pleasure, and hit render.
This one for me is the fastest way to get a decent result in wireframe renders and can be easily copied between files. But it's heavier in the viewport than the other ones, so pick and choose. It all depends on what you need to present. And that's it. Remember, it's just lines, unless you're waiting at a public bathroom. See you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.